Cloudopian. Imagine you start a brand new AWS account and you now try to start an EC2 instance in the region you prefer and you get this error saying that your account is not activated and to contact a special AWS group to get some access to AWS. You now try to fiddle around with AWS, try to start a cloud formation with an EC2 instance and you get a similar kind of an error saying that you can't start EC2 instance in that region. So let's see how to fix this error with the help of AWS support. I just created my new AWS account and if I go to EC2 and then try to launch a new EC2 instance, I get an error message saying this account is currently blocked and not recognized as a valid account. It also asks me to contact aws-verification at amazon.com to get this one fixed. It doesn't matter whether you try to launch an EC2 instance uh, from EC2 console or if you go into your cloud formation and then start an EC2 instance. So in my case, for example, I created a network, try to start an EC2 instance. It still gives me an error saying that my account needs to be validated. This usually happens when you try to start uh, EC2 instances in a brand new account. You can of course create uh, other AWS resources which usually doesn't cost you anything. For example, I successfully created an internet gateway, uh, IAM roles, uh, subnets, so all these resources that doesn't cost you can be created, but uh, any other resources, uh, things like an EC2 instance, when you try to create, you get this error message. So if your account is new, how can you make sure that your account is valid so that you can launch resources uh, either through CloudFormation or through EC2 instance console? The way to do that is to go and raise a support ticket with AWS. So let's go to AWS support. So right now, this is a brand new account. Therefore, uh, you may not have a support plan associated. So you at least need to have basic support plan. So let's go and then try to figure out what's the support plan that I'm in. So basic is something that you can use to activate an account. So I'm in good shape. So I already have a support plan associated with that. So let's now create a new case. So this is going to be something related to account and billing. Service is going to be account and category is activation. And it's going to be a general question. Make sure that you follow these uh, pre-checks before you contact AWS support. So that includes uh, including a proper payment method and registration. In my case, this account I added as part of AWS organization. So all the payment details comes from the parent account. So let's go to next step to add additional information. Uh, you can say a message like, I can't start new EC2 instances in my account, account activation needed. So here I give an error message why I can't uh, create EC2 instances, the error message it gives. And now you need to go to next steps. You can click contact us. And the best way to contact us is through chat. They are quite responsive. Click submit. And this will start a chat window. So right now I'm waiting uh, for support team to uh, reach out to me. It can take some time because right now I'm in basic support plan. So the responsive time is not that great. 
but still uh, for account activation, they usually respond very quickly. So leave it at least about 15 minutes uh, before someone is going to take this. So we start a conversation with AWS support and the conversation went like this. You introduce yourself and they ask, what's the problem? In my case, I say, hey, I get this error message saying that I can't uh, activate the account. Uh, in my case, I have uh, my account set up in an AWS organization where it's the pay account that pays the bill and there are multiple uh, small accounts that I use for development purpose. So I mentioned, hey, this is the development account I brand newly introduced into my AWS organization. Um, how can I uh, start EC2 instance in this account? Uh, they then said, hey, uh, my account is allowed to start EC2 instance only in a few AWS regions. Uh, and I went there and then tried it. Of course it works, but still uh, small instances I can start. When you have uh, this kind of an issue, very likely AWS impose some limit on the number of vCPUs allowed per region. Uh, if this is especially a brand new account, you may get an error uh, saying that uh, you are allowed to start only one vCPU. Uh, let's try to recreate that error and then try to fix it again with AWS support. My AWS support contact mentioned that I can start EC2 instances in North Virginia region and my account is allowed to provision resources only in three regions. So let's try to go into North Virginia region and then start an EC2 instance. So let's go to EC2 instances, launch an instance. So let's call it test. And I'm going to launch a Windows instance. So if you try to start a T2 medium, you can see that it has a vCPU of two vCPUs. When you first start an account, when they allow resources on AWS, usually they don't allow large instances. So for example, if I try to start a T2 medium instance, it's going to give an error message saying that you have requested more vCPU capacity than your current vCPU limit of one. So the reason for this is uh, you create this account uh, a few days ago and uh, AWS for security reasons don't allow you to start large instances, which is good. So even if you try to uh, retry this task, it's going to fail. So let's try to edit the EC2 instance config. So it's a test instance. Windows machine. So instead of starting a T2 medium instance, so let's start a small one with one vCPU. So it could be a T2 small instance, or let's go for T3 small instance. So it still has two vCPUs, too much. Um, let's try to start a T2 small instance. So it has one vCPU, that seems good. Uh, all the configurations are like before. So let's now try to start this instance. When I do that, it's successfully launched. So what you need to do is to leave this one running for some time so that the account get warmed up and then uh, you can start uh, large instances. You saw how that error happens. Again, the process is similar. You reach out to AWS support and then say, I said, hey, uh, can you activate my AWS account on the other regions I want to operate? Uh, they then said, yes, they can, but they give a few days uh, to wait uh, until they can activate that account. So the conversation went like that. Uh, and they asked me to contact AWS a special email address, aws-verification at amazon.com. I told them that I already contacted them, but there was no response. Maybe uh, I lost the email somewhere. And then they say, okay, wait a second. Uh, we will raise the uh, issue with that verification team and come back to me. A few days later, uh, uh, they already resolved this issue. And I got in my support console saying that the issue is uh, already fixed and I can start EC2 instances in Sydney region. You now know how I got this issue fixed. Uh, if you have a similar issue, uh, feel free to reach out to AWS support under basic plan. 
You don't need to have developer or enterprise plans to uh, get account activation support. Uh, they are very responsive and you can get uh, your account activated in the region you want. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Remember to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.